starting with this irregularly shaped 1961 Washington Quarter. As you can see, this is an obviously a mint error coin. 1961, the Washington Quarter struck on a cent flashes, graded MS64 red brown by PCGS. A desirable wrong planchet error with quarter design incomplete due to the difference in size between the dies and the planchet. Peripheral details is lacking along the upper reverse and the lower left reverse borders. Both the date and the mid mark are clear, however, the central devices are bold. Light toning in iridescent copper brown engage the surfaces that retain nearly complete bright orange luster. According to Stax Bowers archive, this rare error coin was sold for $1800. So keep an eye out for such 1961 error coins. As you know, the proof coins are struck with special care and mint errors very rarely happen at San Francisco Mint. This is one of the exceptions that made this coin worth thousands of dollars. This is an highly sought after Jefferson Nickel with not doubled but triple die reverse graded as PR67 by PCGS with designation of 801. According to Variety Vista, as reported by James Willis, strong spread on all rettering with positive triple and faint multiple images are observed on the reverse side of the coin, but tripling is very seen, so you need to use magnifying glass and very strong coin microscope. It is a fascinating error that captures the attention of serious collectors. This type of error occurs during the minting process where the die used to strike the coin impress the design onto the metal planchet multiple times. In case of FS801, the reverse of coin exhibits tripling, meaning you can see the three separate impressions on various parts of the design. But again, this error can be spotted only upon close inspection. Key features to look for in variety are noticeably tripling on the lettering. These elements show clear separation under magnification, making it a spectacular example of a minting mishap. This particular coin graded PCGS proof 67 represents a top tier specimen. The proof 67 grade means that the coin is in near perfect condition with only minute imperfections visible under magnification. Proof coins are struck with specially prepared dives, giving them sharper details and more reflective surface and regular circulation coins. The high grade on this example amplifies its rarity and desirability. This particular proof gem was sold for $540 with buyer's fee in 2024 at Great Collections Auction. The 1961 daily Lincoln cent is one of the worst struck cents from 1932 to date according to PCGS. In early 1960s, the Denver Mint stepped up production of circulation strike Lincoln cents and even outpaced, even outpaced the Philadelphia Mint. This resulted in very poor quality Lincoln cents being struck for circulation from 1960 to 1963. The 1961 D, along with the two consecutive years, includes the 1962 D and 1963 D Lincoln cents which are rare in MS67 grade. PCGS reports only 24 specimens in this lofty grade, with only 4 with plus designation, including this gem, with non-numerically finer. This utmost rarity, a superb lustrous gem, ended up selling for $6,468.75 at Great Collections Auction. The 1961 Roosevelt Time graded MS67 Plus full bands by PCGS is an exceptional example of a rare and highly desirable coin. This dime stands out for several reasons, including its condition, its full bands designation, and the attractive toning that enhances its appeal to collectors. First, the MS67 Plus grade indicates that the coin is in near perfect mint state condition with extremely sharp details and only the slightest of imperfections visible under magnification. 
the plus modifier adds an extra layer of distinction signaling that this particular example is on the higher end of ms67 grade coins at this level are rare especially from 1961 a year when many coins were not preserved in such pristine condition the full band designation is key to its rarity and the value on the reverse of the Roosevelt dime, the horizontal bands on the torch are a crucial part of design. For a coin to receive the full bands designation, the bands must be fully separated and distinct, indicating a high quality strike. This detail is important to collectors because it shows that the die used to mint the coin was in excellent condition and that the coin received a strong complete strike. Full bands dimes are much rarer than those without this distinction, making them particularly sought after. In addition to its grade and the strike, this example is noted for being attractively toned. Over time, some silver coins develop natural toning as a result of exposure to elements. The toning can add a layer of beauty and uniqueness to the coin, with colors ranging from subtle golds to more dramatic blues and purples. This particular dime in mean state 67 plus with full bands ended up selling for $5,006.25 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. And this is probably one of the most valuable US coins dated 1961, presenting you the 1961 half dollar. A proof issue with deep cameo designation, graded as PR69 deep cameo by PCGS. The 1961 Franklin half dollar proof in PR69 deep cameo is a great rarity, an item of unsurpassed desirability among registry set collectors. PCGS lists just several this fine, which are joined also by a limited number of NGC coins in the same grade. The present coin offers a frost white luster. On pristine devices which seem to float atop of liquid-like mirroring of the fields which are devoid of toning. This outstanding piece in PR69 deep cameo condition ended up selling for $40,800. But when dealing with 1961 proof Franklin half dollars you should also look for rare error variety known as double die reverse. The coin that you're looking at comes with designation of FS801. The cherry picker lists three different double die reverse varieties of 1961 halves, but FS801 is by far the most prominent and is a variety listed in guidebook. Peripheral letters are very sick and show obvious doubling, but pickup point is E pluribus unum which is widely dyed doubled north, immaculate and fully struck, with golden brown toning at the margins. This superb gem with CAC sticker ended up selling for $8,812.50, also at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for joining us on this video, where we rediscovered the hidden gems of 1961. If you enjoyed this video about rare and valuable coins, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on our future coin treasures. Until the next time, happy collecting and God's willing, see you in the next video.